Kenya will send 600 more police officers to tackle gang violence in Haiti next month. That announcement was made by President William Ruto during a visit by the Haitian Prime Minister. Gary Coney was in Kenya following a massacre by members of the Grand Grief Gang. At least 115 people in a farming region were killed, according to a local mayor. It was one of Haiti's deadliest attacks in recent years. Kenyan security forces are in Haiti as part of a UN-backed Kenya-led mission. At a press conference on Friday, Kony praised the response by police and Kenyan officers to the massacre, as well as the deployment in general. The first deployments of Kenyan contingents in Haiti have been extremely helpful, useful, professional, committed. Um, they've engaged almost immediately side by side with, their, with the police force. At least 10 countries have promised to send a total of around 2,900 troops to tackle violence in Haiti. But only about 430 have deployed since the mission got underway in June. Nearly 400 of them are from Kenya. Meanwhile, heavily armed gangs, which control most of the capital, Port-au-Prince, have continued to gain territory. Over 700,000 people in Haiti have fled their homes, according to the United Nations. Over 5 million, nearly half the population, are going hungry. In Nairobi on Friday, Ruto said the mission was improving security in Haiti. But he also called on the international community to match their pledges with the necessary action to complete the task ahead of us.